Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> Whale Shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. Way! These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar at me. That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Whoa! <laughs> he could be right in front of our faces and we wouldn't be able to see him. Huh? Now, don't go wandering off, Peso. I may never find you again. It's one of Shellington's garden eels. We must be really close. There's another one. There. <laughs> Fascinating. The garden eels are even faster than you are, Quasi. Shellington, are you all right? Well, my leg keeps falling asleep, but I think I'll be okay. Come on, we've got to get back to the octopod. Put this on and let's go. Quasi, Peso, how's it going out there? Well, we found Shellington, and we followed some garden eels up this cliff, but then we lost... Yow! Was he? <laughs> gotcha! Mayday, Captain! My tail's tangled in tentacles! Help! Quasi! Come in, Quasi! <clears throat> oh! <sighs> I never should have let Shellington stay out to study those garden eels. Ah, garden eels! That's it! If I can't get through the jellyfish, I'll go under them, just like the garden eels. Professor Inkling, does anything live in the rocky cliff beneath the octopod? Interesting question. As far as I know, nothing lives down there. So I wouldn't be harming any creatures if I made a tunnel through it. Not at all. There's only solid rock there. But what about your paw? Don't worry about me, Professor. Hey, 
Gip. Prepare the Gup D. I'm gonna need some extra tunneling power. You got it, Cap. Just hold on. A garden eel living in a rocky cliff? It can't be! That's no garden eel, that's Captain, Captain Barnacles! <laughs> ah. Good to see you again, Shellington. Come on. We've got to hurry back to the octopod before this tunnel starts to fill up with jellyfish. Tweak, close the octa hatch. Too quiet. I don't like all this quiet. Then why are we whispering? Hmm. Oh. Shiver me, whisk dear! Sorry, Captain. What? We're having a bit of a, a pudding problem. Pudding? pudding. Mm -hmm. Well, at least it's a tasty problem. Hi, Captain. But we need to get back to the beach to help Peso. Don't worry, Cap. We'll get this pudding problem fixed up faster than you can say bunch of munchy, crunchy carrots. All right, Tweak. Quasi, into the gup. Again. Peso, we're on our way. Hold your position. I don't think I have much of a choice, Captain. Ow! They're stinging each other. Ow! 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 That really hurt. Oh, yeah, I stung you because you stung me. You stung me first. No, you stung me first. Ow! 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 Got you last. Ow! <laughs> Got you last. Ow! 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 My friends, they'll get stung. Ow! 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 Stop! Anemones, please. Stop stinging each other. This rock belongs to us, and they've got to go. We've got to go. They've got to go. So you're fighting for a home? We get to stay here because we were here first. We were here first. Actually, this little crab and his friends were here first. Excuse, Excuse me. me. Just coming through. Thank you very much. Which means both of you are on their rock. Oh. Oh. Well, we have to live somewhere. What about us? We have to live somewhere too. Let's work out a way for everyone to share this rock. Why don't you, anemones, move back and stay on this side of the rock, and you, anemones, stay on this side, and both of you keep the middle free for the crabs. And please, no more stinging. We'll, we'll do, do it, it if they, they do, do it. it. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. High five! <laughs> Ouch! Yay! Yay! <laughs> now let me see if I have something to make your stings feel better. Yeah, they really hurt. I bet mine hurt more. No, mine do. I've got a Peso. Yeah, I've got a rest. Are you okay? Everything's fine, Captain. Peso stopped the Battle of the Blobs. Good work, Peso. But what about the other blobs back at the Octopod, Captain? Oh, don't worry, Peso. Hi, they're not the stinging kind. Now this is a blob of pudding. <laughs> Octonauts, activate spoons. There's plenty for everyone. Dig in. Come on, yeah. dig in. <laughs> hey, <laughs> stop it. Oh, that tickles. The jelly not only uses its comb to swim, Peso, but also to handle food. Its little tails are tickling you. Luckily, you're too big to be eaten. There. Feel better. Better, better. 
Huh? My medical bag. Ah. Ah. Ooh. <laughs> Quasi! Help! Yow! Peso! What are you doing inside that thing? Peso inside! Inside Jelly's belly! Let him go, you bulbous beast! Wait! Don't hurt him! I'm all right! Mostly. Quasi, how did Peso get in there? Never mind that, Captain! How are we going to get him out? It may be a bit tricky. As you can see, the comb jelly is see-through. But he has several clear layers of skin surrounding a clear stomach full of water. And Peso. Go, go! No! No, go, go! No! Peso, we're trying to work out how to get you free. Stop playing around! But I'm not! Jelly! Please stop! Drop! Quasi, Dashy, get the guppe. Shellington, let's go after him. Whoa! I got it! I got it! Oh! Oh, he got it all right. Dashy, get me close. Closer. Ha! Yow! I've got you! I've got you! Jelly, stop! That's my friend! Quasi cat! Catfish! No, not a catfish. He's a Oh, never mind! Quasi, are you okay? Just give me whiskers a moment to stop shivering. I've got him, Captain. Oh, no! They're being swept away by that current of fast water. This is getting serious. Let's sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the gups. Octonauts, Peso is stuck inside a comb jelly, and the comb jelly is stuck inside a fast-moving current. Oh, my! Oh, no! Peso, <sighs> can you hear me? Peso! It's no good, Captain. I'm just getting steady. Tweak, you stand by. We may need your help. Got it, Cap. And we'll follow that current. Now's our chance. Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here! Oh. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Uh. Oh. 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 Yow! Puppy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! Must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. <laughs> I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha. Oh, no! 
Place to land. That looks like a good spot. Captain, I noticed we changed course. Is everything all right? I don't know, Shellington. What do you make of that? Fascinating, Captain. Those are sea pigs. Sea pigs? Yes. Sea pigs are creatures that live in the deep ocean, but they don't swim. They walk around on the seafloor with little legs. And it looks like they're walking straight towards the trench. That's not good. If they fall in, they won't be able to swim out. That's a long way to fall, matey. That's not the only problem. Sea pigs eat bits of food that drift down from the surface of the ocean. And hardly any of it gets down that far. Aye, so they'd be stuck and hungry. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. <laughs> Astronauts, a large herd of sea pigs is heading towards the trench. We have to stop them before they fall in. We'll need gups A, B, C, D and E. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> Attention sea pigs, you must turn around. You're walking straight towards... Oh, food! Yum, yum, yummy food! No! It's a very deep trench. If you continue on your course, you will... Food! food. No! Oh, yum, yum, Please, yum. listen to me. The trench is really deep, and there's no food for you down there. Food! Food, you say? Yummy, smelly food. Of course! That's it! Captain! I think the sea pigs may have picked up the scent of food on the other side of the trench. They can smell food from very far away. Then we'd better find whatever it is the sea pigs are smelling and bring it over to this side of the trench for them to eat. Quasi, Tweak, Dashy and Shellington, you come with me. Peso, stay here and keep an eye on the sea pigs. Aye, aye, Captain. Stop! There's no food down there. <laughs> This must be what the sea pigs are smelling. Yeah, those fellows actually eat this slimy stuff. It's rotten sea kelp that's fallen down from the surface. For sea pigs, it's very healthy. Healthy or not, I reckon it smells awful. I'm glad I've got this helmet on. <laughs> It'll take forever to gather all this up. Captain, the sea pigs are getting closer to the edge. You have to hurry. Looks like the flooding caused a lot of damage. There must be more creatures out there who need our help. Octonauts, let's do this. Well done, Octonauts. Everything looks back to normal. Let's head home before it gets too dark. I'll be right there, Captain. It looks like part of the riverbank has collapsed. I just want to make sure no creatures were hurt. All right, Shellington. Captain, Quasi's found something. Feast your eyes on this. Hmm, an egg. It was just sitting there, all alone on the riverbed, Captain. We'd better get it back to where it belongs. But where's that? Ah, the shell is hard and thick. This egg was laid on land. We should show it to, um... Ah! Shellington! Shellington, where are you? Over here, Captain! Ow! Oh, it stung my leg. What? What stung your leg? One of them! Don't let him get away. Ah! We're 
under attack! Quick, everyone back to the car! Oh. Yeah. What happened out there, Shellington? Two creatures came out of nowhere, and one of them stung me in the leg! Oh. What were those things? They had bills and claws and... <gasps> Hold on, I'll be a sea monkey's uncle! It's a pair of duck-faced river monsters! A pair of duck-faced what? Now, Quasi... It is a strange, slippery beast that's said to lurk in Australian rivers just like this one. It's made up of parts from different creatures. A bill like a duck, fur like a bear, webbed paws like an otter, claws like a cat, a tail like a beaver, and worst of all, a sharp, spiny stinger like a giant bumblebee. This here sting is the work of the duck-faced river monster. Whatever it was that stung you, it looks serious. How are you feeling, Shellington? Uh, not too good, Captain. Don't worry, Shellington. I'm sure I can make you better. I just need my medical bag. Captain, I must have dropped it. It's out there. With the duck-faced river monsters.